Hi, welcome. So today is day one of our 90 days of analytics challenge. And I hope you are very excited to start this challenge from today. And over the next 90 days, we are going to work together towards um, achieving your objective of becoming a data analytics in this 90 days of analytics challenge. So um, if you're not part of the Discord, maybe, or if you have not been um, following the Twitter spaces that were launched five weeks before, uh, maybe just check the discord and the link here because um, we have been inviting experts over the past five weeks to prepare the mindset for those who will be taking up this challenge like you. So um, over these past weeks, we have been having people come talk to us about data science in the cloud, out of the cloud, data analytics, DevOps even, technical writing, solutions architect, all the points or the questions or the remarks that could have been going behind the minds of maybe every analytic professional or beginner in tech who is intending to get into this field. So um, it's really an interesting thing to check those um, Twitter spaces to be in line with some of the things we have been discussing because they are like preparing your mindset for this day. So um, what are we going to learn from today onwards in this 90 days of analytics challenge? the agenda. So um, the first four days, we are going to focus on the core skills before getting to the tech skills, because most of the tutors or instructors miss out on this. But this is really the core. This is what makes you a data analyst different from maybe a data engineer or a full stack um, engineer or DevOps or other related fields because there are some core skills like statistics, business understanding, communication, which are things that um, you need to um, be comfortable with like a data analyst. So we are going to focus on that because um, remember two techniques change. A couple of years back, there was no Python. There was still some analytics work being going on. And then in the future, we don't know the tools that might come up. So we want to make sure that you have the core as the analyst. So um, that's what we'll do on the first five days, first four days. From day five to day 25, we will be taking now on Excel. Um, that is now the technical um, skill. So Excel is a skill that you need to have because it's something that cuts across many professions. At times, it's even assumed that you already have that skill because on almost all, all computers, you would always find Excel there. So it's something that um, we assume that as a collaborative tool in the working environment, you need to know that. But then we are going to teach you the Excel for data analysis, um, taking you from a beginner zero. You've never worked on Excel before. Zero, what is a sheet, what is a tab, what are launch buttons, what is Zoom, what is a ribbon, things like that. You would understand the basics even from the interface right up to the advanced or intermediary, how to sort, how to filter, pivot tables, formulae that are useful for analysts and uh, building of dashboard. So it's really going to be an exciting journey. And remember, if you are in a small company or country with a small population, there's a high probability that maybe Excel is the core thing you would need as a data analyst. But maybe for countries with higher populations, big data, Excel might be limiting. And that's why the next skill on the list, which would start from day 26 to day um, 45 is SQL or SQL, some of you might call it. So um, it's going to train you now how to be able to harness big data because Excel has limitations of the number of rows, number of data points it can handle, but then SQL breaks that limit right up to billions of rows of data you can be able to analyze with SQL. So you're going to learn your first select commands, uh, your, DD, your DQL language, data query language is the core that is mostly used for data analysts. You're going to learn that the SQL um, training we are going to give you throughout this um, program. And then you also have the third technical tool is a BI tool, visualization tool like um, Power BI. Um, there's also Tableau, but Power BI is uh, more like what is mostly used. Uh, most people use it. It's more common. The adoption rate is higher. So we are going to train you um, using Power BI. But the key skill here is to be able to do visualization, being able to tell a story with data and uh, be able to choose your pie charts, your bar charts, area charts when it's necessary and also have that dashboard which is um, supposed to be really, really very, very fast and effective. Because remember, one of the core themes of Power BI is it should be done in five minutes. 
and any if it's done more than that then the objective has not been attained so it's really go quick with your analysis and get the dashboards out and then you also learn python starting with core python remember core python is what everybody learns if you are going to branch out to maybe web development, you would need to learn core Python before maybe moving to um, your own frameworks like Django or Flask. And if you want to learn DevOps, you still learn core Python before moving to scripting automation. And this core Python is needed for data analysts before you branch out um, after that, which is the next skill for the next weeks, which is learning now how to use that Python for data analyst projects like being bring out visualizations with Seaborn and Matplotlib and being able to do data wrangling, data mining, and all the exploration data analysis and all the different types of analysis with NumPy and Pandas. So that is where you will be able to branch out. But then Core Python will still help anybody who's a beginner in tech. I receive a lot of uh, people say they want to learn Python every day. So this is an opportunity for you. And then at the end, for the last um, seven days, last week, we will now teach you Git, and GitHub, how to take what you've learned, all the projects, all the things you've accomplished, push them to your GitHub um, profile, and it becomes one of proof of work for you. You've learned the skills, you've applied the skills, and here's your portfolio. So it'll be very good for your CV. And even if you are an independent, maybe freelancer or so, it will still be very helpful to you. So that is a run through of what we are going to have like the 90 days of analytics challenge starting today with all the core skills and the tech skills to be able to get you up to speed and what is the objective the whole of this program is that someone comes in like a beginner with no knowledge in tech no knowledge in data no knowledge in analytics or cloud or whatever no knowledge zero knowledge and then even if it's a mid-career shift maybe you've been in marketing for a couple of years or finance or healthcare or whatever it is still an opportunity for you to be able to come in, get that transformation from zero to your entry into tech, and then be able to work as a data analyst or acquire those data analytics skills, which at some point might lead you to this new roles, even that they call citizen data analyst, which is maybe a data analyst sitting in the networking department who understands bandwidth, outages, and others, a data analyst sitting in a a human resource department or a human resource specialist who has learned data analysis sitting in a human resource department who is able to do HR analytics and be able to analyze turnovers because you understand the domain knowledge and then you are just adding these analytics tools to be able to be that go-to person in your department. So it's still an opportunity for you. So that's the transformation we hope you would achieve. Now, we are also going to keep on supporting you, especially in the community. That's why we encourage you to join the Discord channel because there we've shared even some of the core skills like statistics we've shared some resources already and some people have already started working on it preliminary to this day so if you haven't done that try to catch up with your statistics it's just be high school statistics and uh, it will be enough to get in as a data analyst maybe if you want to move on to a data scientist you need more uh, maybe going deeper to linear algebra or even your calculus or whatever but then for now as a data analyst you don't need much you just need to focus on what you have like high school statistics mean median mode variance certain division just the basic things and you are good to go with this um, program so um also why is analytics um, a good career an interesting career is because um data keeps increasing every day and almost every business is about data and maybe improving revenue reducing cost or improving efficiencies for processes so it's a field which is really very um, interesting you are part analyst part scientist because each project is kind of different you also have to put in some project management skills to try to reduce costs to try to be effective so it's a kind of a, a good blend of all this which makes the, the the industry so interesting and so in demand as you would see in the top 10 jobs in the world right now so um let's talk about some of the industries that um, how it's applied in real life because um, remember on a day-to-day -day, you do apply some form of analysis maybe consciously unconsciously like when you decide to take a taxi over a bike or a bicycle or a car or a train or things i mean there are some decisions you make based on analysis that you've been maybe observing over a period of time maybe the, the company has been renting 
cars for some time and then from your analysis we it's better to buy a car over a five year period so those are basic analysis you do in at every level but then we are trying to make you to do that at a bigger scale with this training so maybe not just some um, small data but dealing now with big data which has to do with bit data that comes with high velocity high volume high veracity and uh, variety and things like that so all the v's now um let's talk about uh, the industries so one Telecom, um, for telecom industry, you can be a data analyst handling churn because churn is something, you know, when a customer leaves the network, that is near not good. So um, it, because it costs um, five times more to um, get a new customer than to keep an old um, customer. So telecom companies have that priority to fight to keep their customers. So as a data analyst, you would help to understand patterns which are able to identify who has the risk or potential churn to leave the company or leave the network so you'll be able to come up with maybe marketing strategies or things like that along with the product team or marketing team or sales team to keep those customers or customer lifetime value management on the side of customer acquisition wow what is the expected lifetime of a customer and what is the expected average revenue or the average value the customer will bring to um, the company before maybe leaving so that you can it can be able to motivate your um, incentives to get new customers the budget you use for campaigns to be able to entice new customers to come to your network the discounts you would give the gifts you would give or maybe you could give a telephone they'll pay for for a year every month because you know the customer is going to stay more than one year with you so this is this are just how you can use that for customer lifetime value management and then um, in a banking sector too yes of course you can use that for risk mitigation so maybe people come up with um, loan applications and you look based on their demographic data or behavioral data you're able to determine if they are credit worthy the risk level so it's also um, an opportunity for you to apply that and fraud detection so um, it's used even right up to applications that are able to detect fraud at the data science level as I mean I always believe a data analysis a data science in the making so um, you're able to predict uh, detect fraud fraudulent transactions maybe somebody's behavior has been this pattern then all of a sudden there is a huge um maybe withdrawal is ab abnormal for that uh, that person's account and behavior you can be able to predict that pattern and identify and maybe stop that pattern and send it maybe to human auditors to verify if um, it's actually the right owner of the credit card or things like that so because remember the most difficult thing or the worst thing about um, credit fraud is not the amount of money that is lost but the confidence that is lost in the bank which the fraud passed through so um the third industry e-commerce so um in e-commerce you if you've been online you must have seen maybe online promotions offers for a period of time so those are things that the analysts would be able to help to build and also to be able to help with the supply chain uh, manage the inflow of stock from the from the suppliers and also as the stock is going out the suppliers are able to coordinate with the the e-commerce side and then on the food industry application healthcare can be used to monitor disease and patterns to verify maybe why maybe some patients leave the hospital bed and come back maybe within six months so things like that are some things you'll be doing there just examples and then um, also develop vaccines remember the pandemic uh, one of the core things that helped with the solution of the pandemic was data science to be able to speed um, simulations and come up with vaccines in time so there's really lots of applications and i just want to end here with these four industries but it doesn't mean that in agriculture you will not be able to determine maybe which 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 supply of eggs are better which chicks chickens are better which ones survive better so there are lots of applications you could use based on data and insofar as you're in any business it's all about collecting the data, analyzing it, and um, giving um, proposals or recommendations. So where can you go with this skill still from here? As I mentioned briefly, I consider a data analyst like maybe a data scientist in the making, so you can still come continue with learning more about machine learning, being able to move to AI from here. And if you remember, ChatGPT is all over the place now. That's an example of AI application. And I think by the end of the year, we are going to get more of these, as especially as last year, we ended with um, discussions around ChatGPT. Even right up till now, every day I receive a post on that. So that could springboard you to your machine learning or AI career. 
and uh, also you could use your python skills for devops devops is hot with the cloud as the back end and the infrastructure is hot skill now so you can use that and even remember even in the cloud most of the services that are offered are mostly first offered with python and maybe javascript but python is always there and it's usually the first sdk um, software development kit because it's also easy to build on python so it will be a an easy entry for you in tech generally when you take this program remember all these um, data and tech skills the advantage of it is that you don't need in person to work maybe in an office there are many remote jobs at your disposal when you pick up these skills and uh, that is something that we hope you should accomplish with this and uh, who is it for uh, again it's for any beginner in tech your first time in analytics in data is for absolute beginners we take you from zero to be able to work as a data analyst comfortably and then from there you can keep learning keep learning and improving and pivoting your career to wherever direction you want it to go to so the only challenge is for you to be biased to, to action act be able to do the work every day like this be able to follow these videos follow the resources that we are going to post again we, we encourage you to join the discord channel because it, it's where we'll be doing most of the communication so join the discord channel be part of the community and learn in public so daily we expect you to share what you learn daily and be so that somebody can see from day zero you were this and at the end of 90 days you've reached this level so it's really also an exciting journey let's do it as a community just be more biased to act upon this and be active, be a part of the network, be in, in co collaboration with people, like-minded people in your field. If you need a mentor, you get a mentor, but just do something to be able to get through. And that is the most important thing because it's actually for beginners. So um, we also try to do more like um, CV review support in this YouTube channel. So you can also subscribe to this channel to be able to follow some of the community activities that we do and also join the discord so that um, you can be provide feedback and a feedback channel for any ideas or any talks you want us to present to you would we'll always tap into our network of experts and pr provide that to you any interviews you want any support you want just let us know and also you can join the discord still for the job opportunities that we post there and here and everywhere so just be part of the community and I just hope that this day one, this first video is going to motivate you to stay committed to this course and every day do little, even as little as one hour a day is enough. Do little and so that at the end of the day, your consistency is going to pay out. So I hope this is going to be a motivation for you all. Don't forget to join the Discord channel, subscribe to this channel and let's get to work. See you next video and wish you good data log.